Lucy, and it is the week of October 23rd. We are so glad to see you all back after a nice, long, and refreshing week off. I have really missed the lunch choices, Reese. What's on the menu this week? This week, we will be enjoying fo the following options. Monday, crispy chicken nuggets. Tuesday, corn dog. Wednesday, toasted Italian sandwich. Thursday, cheeseburger. Friday, lasagna. If you do not like those choices, you can have ham munchables as a second option. I am glad I get a chance to enjoy some of my favorite favorites after a long break from the delicious meals of our cooks. The weather over break was pretty phenomenal. Will, will those gorgeous fall times continue this week? Let's check, it, check out in the five day forecast. We'll start out on the milder side with temps in the 60s for the majority of the school week. By the end of the week, however, temps will start dipping further and further down into the 40s and even the 30s. Where is could stay for quite some time? Expect possible rain on Thursday as well. Sorry to be the bearer, but of bad news, but it can, it looks like we better enjoy the weather while it, while we can. Back Our to students you. students came prepared f as things start to cool off. A little rain in the forecast means we might have some indoor recess. Maybe Miss K has some suggestions of how we can spend that time. I think it might have something to do with the reading, of course. Let's get the details in this week's library. My lovely readers, you are amazing. We had our storybook pumpkin contest. We had 47 pumpkins come in and you all voted. And I took the top two pumpkins that got voted on. So congratulations to my friend Gabriel for being a top pumpkin. He brought in Pig the Pug. And my friend Briley, who brought in the Caterpillar. Guys, you did an awesome job. Thanks for participating. It's been awesome. Wonderful. You're welcome. Here's from Miss K. I also love learning about new habits. I wonder what it will be this week. Let's check out it out with this week's habitat habit high but then she started laughing and so i started laughing and i didn't feel embarrassed anymore she told me that if you laugh at your mistakes sometimes you don't feel so bad about them anymore yeah it's called finding humor. Humor is so important. It gives the, the brain an opportunity to breathe, to feel different, to kind of get you to go. And so finding humor is really a wonderful release. It's a wonderful opportunity for us to laugh at ourselves. So we want to make sure that we're finding humor, but we also want to make sure we're giving students an opportunity to understand what appropriate humor is about. One of the greatest indicators of intelligence is a person's ability to find humor. It's a, a very intellectually challenging and complex skill. At first I felt embarrassed, but then I realized how funny I must have looked. It's great that you can find humor in life, Chris. Sometimes life gets too serious and we need to remember to stop and find the humor in things. That might be the only thing that keeps us going sometimes. Speaking of keeping things moving, let's get the reminders so we can wrap up this podcast. There will be no after school next Tuesday due to Halloween. Make sure you, to go out uh, and support our sports teams we, this week as they start their playoff season. Go Indians! Thanks Reese. Let's, that wraps up this week's broadcast. Since this week's habit is finding humor, how about we give you someone 
without a smile today. Give them yours. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance on the count of three. One, two, three.